Hello! It is nowhere near as dark in here as it looks. Uh, it's actually quite bright in here. It's just that it's mostly blue light. It's mostly uh, indirect, filtered light. I just finished reading Occult Philosophy for the Modern Age by Warwick. Uh, <clears throat> now this is a longer book. It's 194 pages, technically speaking. Uh, that's how many pages have writing on them. Uh, or, or uh, an important image. <clears throat> the last image uh, on page 195 is just his seal. Uh, I guess you could say it's 195 pages. Whatever. I don't really care. But it's 194 pages of text. Um, it's a lot better than, than his other works. Uh, his other works, uh, they tend to have issues with the grammar, issues with the spelling. They, they tend to have... Uh, poor word choice, uh, and they tend to just glance over uh, certain topics, glossing over the topics as opposed to, uh, you know, going in depth. Well, this goes a little bit more in depth. Um, now, it covers a lot of different practices and how they can be in interpreted in the modern age, uh, but also uh, it kind of suggests that you can make your life more complete uh, by adopting these practices. Uh, it, it's actually very interesting. It doesn't outright state it, but it does suggest that. And, and maybe that's just me being an occultist reading into it a little too much. Uh, but this this book was actually really good. It was 2015. <clears throat> Man, really, really good book. I'm looking forward to more Warwick books. Uh, even though he's not the greatest... He is someone who I have had comments from and have interacted with, sort of, in the past. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace.